Hey, what's up guys? Some really huge news. DJI came out with the DJI Mavic today, and last week GoPro came out with the Karma. They just announced them. We haven't gotten any hands-on stuff yet, um, but we're gonna go through the different bullet points and compare them so you guys can make an educated decision on which one you should get. Okay guys, so here's the battle of the drones. We're gonna compare the Mavic to the GoPro Karma. Okay, first thing is the size. So the size of the Mavic, there's actually no dimensions online we could find, but they say it's the size of a water bottle. I saw pictures, you know, people can fit it in the palm of their hand, so that's pretty darn small. GoPro Karma comes a little bit bigger, 14 inches by nine by 3.5. So, you know, it's a little bit bigger. Uh, but you can still fit it into a pretty small backpack. We've got the weight. So the DJI Mavic is 1.64 pounds and the GoPro Karma is 2.21 pounds. So you're gonna get a little bit better flight time and a little bit more portability there as far as weight is concerned. Max speed of the DJI Mavic is 40 miles an hour. GoPro Karma is really close at 35 miles an hour. Um, I don't think you're gonna need to be, you know, doing any racing or anything necessarily with these two drones, though DJI Mavic showed people kind of racing them. Seems like a kind of expensive drone to be racing in my opinion. So not sure you're gonna wanna worry about that too much. Flight time on the DJI Mavic is 27 minutes. GoPro Karma comes in at 20 minutes. So you get seven minutes of extra flight time there, which is really quite amazing. Uh, we've got the camera. DJI Mavic shoots 4K at 30 frames per second. And the GoPro Karma uses the GoPro Hero 4 or 5 or the GoPro Session 4 or 5, which equal 4K at 30 frames per second. Okay, so the range of the DJI Mavic is about 4.7 miles, which is really quite amazing. And the GoPro Karma comes in at 0.62 miles, so about half a mile. Now the thing is, do you really need to go four miles away or 4.7 miles away? Um, I've never been more than like half a mile away. Like, to fly line of sight, you kind of lose sight once you get that distance away. So unless you have permission, then I don't really see a purpose of going that far away. But the range is very, very impressive. So there's a good chance that you'll have better reception when you're flying around trees and stuff like that. So the DJI Mavic has these things called follow modes and there's a spotlight, profile, and trace. The spotlight will follow the object. So it'll kind of, you know, it could get someone running as you're um, going like a 360 around them. You do a profile, which is kind of keeping along to the side, and then a trace, which is following behind, or the front, which is very, very cool. Now the GoPro Karma does not have those automated follow modes, but it does have these modes where it will automatically do a circle around you, or it will go forward all by itself. Obstacle avoidance. So the DJI Mavic does have obstacle avoidance. It actually has five cameras on it to keep it safe as it's flying around. The GoPro Karma has zero, they have none. The DJI Mavic has gesture control. So you can do a little gesture as it's pointing at you in selfie mode and it will take a picture, it will record video, which is really cool. And the GoPro Karma does not have that feature. The remote control. So the DJI Mavic uses a small controller and you plug your iPhone into it and um, it's super small, super compact, but um, using my iPhone with my drones is always kind of annoying thing. That's one thing that I think is a plus to the GoPro Karma is they have this really cool controller. It's like a clamshell. It folds down really, really small, keeps all the buttons and everything protected on it. But but it does have a screen that's built into it, so you're not wasting the battery life on your iPhone. So that's a huge, huge plus for me for the GoPro Karma. Okay, let's get to the cost. So the cost of the Mavic only is $750, with the RC as well is $1,000, and with a package where you get the Mavic, RC, backpack, extra batteries is $1,300. So the cost of the Karma and the RC is $800. The Karma, the RC, and the Session 5 Black is $1,000. The Karma RC and the GoPro Hero 5 Black is for $10.99. So in conclusion, I feel that the DJI Mavic beats out the GoPro drone in just sheer features. They've also been doing this a lot longer than GoPro, but that being said, if you are a GoPro guy and you're using the GoPro for all of your stuff, for going downhilling, for doing outdoor stuff, for doing underwater stuff, then the Karma can be an excellent match. I didn't talk about this yet, but they actually have a gimbal that plugs into the Karma and you just pop that right out and stick it into a handle that actually comes with the Karma. So you're actually getting an Osmo as well as the drone and Osmo is the DJI equivalent, so a handheld gimbal. So that alone right there um, is a really, really cool feature. I feel like the GoPro guys 
will get a good kick out of the Karma. But if you're not into that outdoor adventure stuff, then I think that the DJI Mavic might be the way to go. So hopefully this helps you guys out. We're actually gonna be getting our hands on the Mavic very, very soon. And we're gonna be doing some in-depth tutorials and some in-depth reviews on it. So stay tuned for that. Make sure you guys like and subscribe and we'll see you guys later. Hang on guys, don't go quite yet. I've got something really, really cool. I actually have an online training. If you click right here, you can go get signed up for that. I'm teaching how to get ready for the part 107. What is it? How do I get signed up for it? How should I train for it? I'm also going to talk about my top cinematic drone shots so that you guys can take your shots to the next level. So before you guys head out, go ahead and click on that and we'll see you guys later.